Halloween Bargain Family! So today I'm going to be showing you how to turn yourself into a tiger using Dollar Tree makeup products. I just got out of the shower, started editing the video, and realized I didn't film an intro, so that's why I don't have the makeup on right now. This October I really wanted to upload a bunch of Dollar Tree Halloween makeup tutorials for you guys and I was excited about doing it. I always use body paint, so this Halloween I was going to challenge myself by specifically just using Dollar Tree makeup items. But the thing is, with moving and working, life just got in the way and I wasn't able to upload as much as I wanted to. I have so many Halloween DIYs that I never got out like this awesome awesome little jar that I made right here using Dollar Tree products. I even made a Halloween Christmas tree and this cool hand mirror. And because of moving and working, like I said, I just couldn't get the videos out because I was just busy. And I was like, you know what? I really, really want to try to get up at least one more makeup tutorial before October is over. I know it's super last minute, but hopefully this inspires you and makes you think outside of the box when it comes to your makeup. Maybe next year for Halloween time or, you know, if you're going to a party that involves something extravagant. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, please give it a thumbs Thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to 500 likes. Also, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're not, you'll be notified every single time that I upload. Penny is scratching the ground. You guys, have a happy, safe Halloween. Now, let's begin this video. Before anything, if you want foundation on, apply it now. It's not required for this look, but like I said, if you want foundation on, it's best to apply it first. You'll have a hard time applying it once all the other makeup is on. I don't like Dollar Tree foundation. It only comes to two colors and both don't suit most skin tones, so I wouldn't recommend those. Now let's move on to the rest of the makeup. I'm using Color Mate's Brow Duo in dark brown for most of my base makeup. I use a contouring brush to mix both colors together and contour with that. I started off very light just because I didn't know what direction I wanted to go in with the makeup, but you're gonna see I end up darkening that up quite a bit. Next, I used a blending brush to mix both colors together and apply that onto my entire eyelid, blending it up toward my brow bone. To smoke out the eye more, I take the darker color in the duo and apply it to the eyelid and then I blend that into the crease and apply it along my lower lash line. This is when I figured out what direction I wanted to go with in this look and so I decided to make the contour super deep and sharp so I used a dark brown shadow to do just that. I also applied some shadow on my neck because I knew I wanted to bring the makeup down there. It's time to highlight. To highlight my cheekbones, bridge of the nose, and cupid's bow, I'm using LA Colors Loose Pigment in Honeysuckle. It's a champagne color. When applied over the brown shadow though, it looks a little bit more like a white. But applied to areas that didn't have brown shadow, it looks more like a champagne color. Now I blend the mixture of the brown shadows together and I apply that to my forehead, blending them toward my temple. Time to start creating the tiger nose. To do that, I use the lighter brown shadow in my brow duo and just draw on the nose using an eyeshadow brush. I use that same brown shadow to fill in the inner portion of my brows, blending it down toward the bridge of my nose. And when I blend it out, I blend it down toward the bridge of my nose so there's this like sharp line near the brow and then it fades out. To give myself a cat eye, I'm using Wet n Wild's black eyeshadow to line my lower lash line, creating a wing near my tear duct and on the outside of my eye. I then line my lash line with the shadow as well. I wanted to deepen up the nose a little bit so I ended up using the black eyeshadow to outline my tiger nose. This just makes it stand out more and then I use it to fill in my brows. I noticed the eyes, nose, and brows were more intense than my contour so to balance that out I blend a little bit of black shadow into my contour but mainly toward the hairline so it's more intense but not so much that it distracts from everything else. Next, I created a line going from the bottom of my nose to my mouth, and then I used the black shadow to outline my lips. You can use an eyeliner, lip liner to do that, or just your lipstick in general, but I just wanted that area to be softer and not like a harsh line, so that's why I ended up using shadow first. And then I topped off the lips with a black lipstick from Wet n Wild. I'm not a fan of leaving theatrical looks at just one tone. I think of it as a painting and I want to add more colors for more contrast. So I use my finger to pat on some of my brown shadow from my brow duo into the center of my lips and I think this looks much more nice. It just adds a lot more depth. Now it's time for the exciting part, creating tiger stripes. You can just paint single lines on your face, but I wanted more texture to mine, so I'm using an angled brush to create a bunch of small strokes that I look like fur to create my lines. 
You can reference an image of a tiger to figure out the placement of your stripes. I didn't reference a picture till after I was done with most of the stripes. I wanted the main stripes to complement my face so basically I used the stripes to contour the face a little bit more and then I referenced an image and decided to create stripes on the center of my forehead which is more tiger-esque. If you want you can bring the stripes down along your neck and to any other exposed skin. That's something that's totally up to you. I just brought it down my neck and then on the collarbone. Now apply mascara to your top and bottom lashes. I'm using LA Colors Volume Mascara. To line my lash line, I'm using e.l.f. liquid eyeliner in black, but I don't just use it to line my lash line, I also use it to make the stripes more intense, as well as the outline of the nose. This just helps these areas stand out more, it looks more defined, just brings it out, especially for pictures if you want to take pictures, because the eyeshadow, you still see it, but it's a little soft, so I want a little bit more of some harsh lines that really stand out when it comes to video and pictures. Finally, apply false lashes if you like. I'm using KISS False Lashes I Got at Dollar Tree. And that is it for this tiger makeup tutorial using Dollar Tree makeup products. I hope you all enjoyed. I really wanted to get another Dollar Tree Halloween makeup video out for you guys, even if it's actually on Halloween. So thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.